the best film scores of the 2000s. Oh, this should right. be interesting. Den- Denny Elfman, Corpse Bride. I don't remember it, to be honest with you. I All like right. the movie, but I don't remember it. Many people prefer Big Fish. Mm-hmm, okay. But, uh, many people prefer Big Fish as a movie, too. A lot of people love that movie. But... Javier Navarrete for Pan's Labyrinth. That's a great score. That's a very good score. Philip Glass for Cassandra's Dream. I don't. I like. I mean, I, remember, I like the movie. I don't remember the score though. Well, essentially, with Philip Glass, if you know one of his scores, you know all of them. That's that's true. I his his music is very specific, and it kind of it's a constant kind of droning on of a singular theme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like it, but uh, I like, I like the, the Hero Symphony, and I like the music for Mishima a lot. So. <laughs> I remember buying they they restored the original Dracula, the 1931 Dracula, and then Philip Glass did a whole new score for it. Right. So I bought that CD, and it was the most repetitive, da na 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 na, you know, like two note theme mm-hmm. I never heard. <clears throat> Obviously, it's brilliant. It's got two notes in it. Uh, but Cassandra's Dream is is interesting because Woody Allen never uses original score in a movie. That yeah, that, I remember. Yeah. So that's what made that singular more than anything. Um, Hans Zimmer, number seven. They choose King Arthur. Really? I would yeah. choose like two, the two Batman or Inception, but okay. Well, they also have runners up Gladiator and Sherlock Holmes. Mm, okay, interesting. All right. Ha, well, Hans Zimmer's back for their number six pick with, but that's the James with James Newton Howard for the Dark Knight. So the, yeah, I'd that, say that belongs there. Yeah. yeah. And moving on to numbers five through one on this list, this comes from PopMatters dot com. Howard Shore, Lord of the Rings trilogy number five. Okay. You know, essential. This is weird. David Holmes, Ocean's Twelve. Really? Okay. I mean, I have all three Oceans soundtracks, but I don't really... Okay, uh, now I'm really... All right, what's... Okay, just a, go, a go Euro, on. A, a Euro-tinged, jazzy score mm-hmm. for Oceans 12. Runners up, Oceans 11 and Oceans 13. Of course, why not? Number three, Nick Cave and Warren Ellis, The Assassination of Jesse James. Yeah, that's a good one. Number two, John Murphy and Underworld for the score to Sunshine. Mm, the okay. Danny Boyle movie. I don't remember the score that well, so. And number one, best score of the 2000s, which I guess is uh, X, uh, X, X deletes uh, 2011 and 12. Mm-hmm. Right? The 2000s is 2000 through 2009, right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you okay. think so? I would think. Okay, let's. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Number one is Clint Mansell, The Fountain. All right, The Fountain. I mean, I'm, I think that should be on there. But what about like Johnny Greenwood? There will be blood. What about um? There's a lot of great scores they missed. I mean, yeah. I, I re- wow. Um, Always in these lists, dude. Always. I know, but this is really a strange list. I mean, 